Okay, a uh, little homework help on, uh, this is lesson 4-6, page 278. I've picked two problems, and uh, the directions are to factor completely for this number 10. And generally, you can always uh, think of this, if you're handed a polynomial of 4 or 6 or 8 uh, terms, uh, that is going to mean factoring by grouping. And so, let's see if we can figure out a group of uh, either two groups of three, three groups of two, and then find a GCF within each group. Well, this problem is uh, really nice because uh, they've pretty much already set this up so that these first three terms have something in common, x squared, and the second three terms, if you notice, they're all divisible by 9, or negative 9. So they're already lined up for us. And so I'm just going to, uh, instead of rewriting the problem, I'll just color code the blue group and the green group. So let's factor out the x squared out of the blue group. And that's going to give us x squared plus 6x plus 5. And then uh, in the green group, we can factor out negative 9. Notice how there's a, the next sign is minus. And when we do, we're going to get, this is negative 9 into negative 54x, that's 6x. Negative 9 into negative 9x squared, that's positive 1x squared. And this is going to be positive 5. So once again, uh, they're not in the same order, but they are definitely the same terms. So we know we've done the factoring correctly. So let's take the two terms that are not in parentheses, make those factors, part of our factoring. And then the matching parentheses will be the other factor. And we can't stop if there are, if there is a possibility of factoring further. And we actually, each of these can be factored. Uh, this left binomial represents the difference between two squares, two perfect square terms. So remember, uh, back from your algebra 1 days, that factors as this, x plus 3 times x minus 3. Here we have a quadratic trinomial that can be factored as two linear binomials multiplied together. Linear means x to the first in each case. There are factors of 5 that add up to 6, 5 and 1. And uh, so now we've done all of the factoring that is possible and now we can circle this as our final answer. So that is your answer for number 10. Okay, down in the other block of problems, about midway down the page, this is number 22. And um, we're probably dealing, if we see two terms with plus or minus, we're probably dealing with either, uh, in this case, we're probably dealing with the difference between two cubes. Doesn't look like it. But remember, you should always factor out the GCF first in cases like this. And after we do, we're going to get that case uh, very much like we had in our notes, where we have these two terms raised to the sixth power. We could rewrite that as though it's the difference between two squares. Okay, so what I've done is I've rewritten a to the sixth as a to the third squared. Remember, multiplied together, and the same thing here. And what that does for me is the difference between two squares factors as a cubed plus b cubed times a cubed minus b cubed. That's just like if I were factoring these two perfect squares. I would do the square root of each, 1 plus, and 1 minus in each group. And that's what I did here. Uh, the square root of a cubed squared is just a cubed. Okay, so hopefully you can relate. This is totally unrelated to this, but I hope this makes this make more sense. All right, now. The great thing about this is we can factor more because we've learned how to factor the sum and the difference of two cubes. 
So go back if you have to, look at your notes. Here's the sum of two cubes factored. Cube roots, square the first, minus the product of the two terms, plus square the last. And now we're going to factor the difference between two cubes. Cube roots, square the first, plus, multiply the AB together, plus square the last. And that's a long answer, but that is the final answer. There is no other possible way to factor, and so that is your answer for number 22. All right, so I hope that helps, and um, work hard on this assignment. It will get easier the more you do it, I promise. But you need to put the work in. Make sure you practice well, and uh, let me know if I can help.